What's up guys, Jeremy with Everything I Device, and welcome to the next episode of the Beast Mac Mini Build 2013. Uh, this is our first boot up since we have installed the SSD and the RAM. If you guys did not see that episode, I will leave a link down in the description. Now in this video, I'm basically going to show you how to partition the SSD and install OS X onto it, and we will do some speed tests here uh, in a bit on it with it as well. So uh, once it boots up here, you can go ahead and select on Use English. English as your main language, if that's your main language, then you will get the OS 10 utilities. We're going to go to disk utility, go ahead and click on continue for that. And then once here, wait for the disks to load. And then we will select on our SSD at the top there. And what we're going to need to do is go to partition. We will use one partition, which is all of the memory on it. And we're using the Mac OS extended journaled. Go ahead and click on apply and then partition. So basically, this is going to format the SSD and allow us to use it as, uh, you know, to install OS X onto it and use it with all of our other data. So uh, off off uh, camera here, I actually went through and renamed the SSD to Macintosh SSD One. As you can see, I changed it right there. Um, so you can name it whatever you want. That way, it's just you know kind of a no brainer for me when I look at it. So I did go through with the change on that, and now the SSD is actually all set to go. So we can go into reinstall OS X. Go ahead and click on continue, continue again, agree to the terms and service, agree, and then you can select on your partitioned SSD right there, and then all you have to do is click on install. And then I will let it go through the process of installing uh, OS X onto the SSD. This will take a bit of time, just so you guys know, and I will be back once we are all ready to go with OS X installed on our Mac Mini. All right, here we are back. We have uh, installed a bunch of different programs that I do like to use on my Mac. Um, I do have ScreenFlow running, that's how I'm recording my screen, and I also do have GarageBand running so I can record my audio. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and run a speed test here really quick just to see how fast this Vertex 4 is. Uh, do keep in mind that this is only the first kind of stage of this build. I'm going to make it even faster. For those of you that follow me on Instagram, I already kind of know what's about to happen, but otherwise stay tuned in. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and run the speed test. We're going to run a 5 gigabyte test. Uh, just to see how you know fast this is so start speed test and write speeds 415 ish megabytes per second pretty high we're still not maxed out and read speeds we're pretty much maxed out at 450 almost 460 ish so uh, yeah some pretty fast speeds here you guys can actually uh, run this same speed test it's free in the uh, Mac App Store if you want to see how fast your actual hard drive is um, it'll probably sit around the second notch on both with a hard drive, I believe. So uh, incredible speed increases with a solid state drive. I can't recommend doing it enough. Um, it'll make all of your application, you know, opening, uh, you know, just opening an app is just blazing fast. Even opening up like Final Cut Pro, it's just like a second and it's open. It's pretty incredible. Uh, I'd highly recommend doing an upgrade on this. Even if you're on a MacBook Pro or even a MacBook uh, or a MacBook Pro or the Mac Mini. Uh, I would definitely recommend the SSD upgrade. It's it's well worth the money uh, for how fast it, it is, really. Um, so, yeah, that's the speed test. Uh, do keep in mind these numbers. I will put it down in the description. I'll also put in uh, the links for all my previous videos in the description. And uh, stay tuned in for the next episode, guys. We're going to blow these numbers out of the water. We're going to blow these 400 megabyte per second numbers out of the water with the continued build of this world's fastest Mac Mini. So if you guys did enjoy this quick video on how to install OS X onto the SSD, also how to partition it, and then this quick speed test, definitely throw me that thumbs up. Also, if you guys are enjoying this series, throw me a thumbs up. It is greatly appreciated. It helps me out tremendously. And if you guys want to see more episodes, be sure to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy with Everything iDevice, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.